everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to the Rift Breaker. It is a game that I've actually played kind of extensively, if you check my footage on YouTube. I really enjoy this game, it's a lot of fun. It's a base defense, uh, kind of twin stick shooter, uh, with a little bit of Factorio in it, and a lot of tower defense. It's, it's a combination of a lot of genres, and I've seen a number of these games popping up recently, but this one, in my opinion, is the best among them. So we're just going to dive into a new campaign. Uh, let's see, don't know if I can change anything about it. I'm just gonna leave it on normal, and we're gonna call this Doot Doot. I should mention this is made by the Exmorph Defense people, a game that I also really, really enjoyed. But this one's better, I guarantee it. Oh. I love the Alien Worlds. Riftbreaker Ashley reporting successful jump procedure. Roger that, begin field base setup. I like that cutscene. Yeah, I really enjoyed Exmorph Defense. It was a game where you were effectively aliens invading planet Earth and like putting down these towers to uh, take over planet Earth. And the Earthlings were trying to like uh, drive you out. And so it was, a, it was a tower defense game, but you were the bad guys, which is kind of neat. Successful. All systems check. Gravitational strength 1.05 G. Atmospheric pressure within safe levels. Magnetic field check. Error. Repeat magnetic field check with stationary equipment. Star system positioning check. Milky Way Galaxy. Sycorax Belt. Planet Galatea 37. Ashley. We have arrived. Welcome to Galatea 37, Mr. Riggs. It's so beautiful here. Virtual simulations on Earth were good, but this is amazing. An alien tropical paradise. And we're the first humans to experience it. I'm not exactly human. You have a few parts missing as well. And the paradise part is also left to be determined. Remember your training, Ashley. We should set up a base as soon as possible. You could at least pretend to be human. Just a bit. But you're right. There's no going home until we can construct a functioning rift station. Let's start with the basics. Ashley, construct a headquarters building to secure our presence here. It will allow me to reconstruct if my armor is destroyed. Okay, so I gotta build. We don't have enough carbonium to build an HQ. Let's scout for a deposit and set up our base close to it. We need to move quick. It's probably a matter of time before the natives spot us. Oh, I can't change how much these resource nodes are worth. In the, um... In the version... Okay. Let's charge this up. Yeah, this charges up to a big boom. There we go. I thought I really need to care too much for this. I've got shields We've that got carry me forward. resources to construct a headquarters building. Finally. Let's place it close to a carbonium deposit. This will help us speed up resource production. Headquarters now, construction is in progress. This is going to be our main base of operations on Galatea 37, our new home. We have to protect this building at all costs. You will be teleported here whenever I am critically damaged. There is no other backup if this building is destroyed. That's basic training, Mr. Riggs. Let's focus on the less obvious things. I am required to remind you of basic protocol, even if we've done this before. They are chatty. Our will require huge amounts of power to operate. Right now, we can only construct some basic power plants. Wind turbines and carbonium power plants. Wind turbines are less effective, but they work around the clock. Carbonium power plants are very effective, but they use up the deposits that they are placed on. In the beginning, it's best to use a combination of these power sources. We can balance energy peaks and shortages by storing excess energy in energy storages. Also, 
Remember to connect all buildings to the power grid using energy connectors. They connect all buildings within their area of operation, even if power lines are not visible. Okay. When I was playing the survival mode, I was kind of spoiled. I could turn all of the deposits on infinite. That's always going to be my preference. I'm However, sure our presence will not go unnoticed. We should build up our base as quickly as possible. Standard However, I'm wondering. Advises to set up walls and sentinel towers around the base. However, I don't expect as much aggression from the native fauna as in the simulations. So far, it looks like the long-range quantum scans were very accurate. The local fauna and flora appear almost exactly like during training. Follow the protocol, Ashley. The environment in the simulation was very accurate, that's true. But the scenario was crafted by Riftbreaker Command. They usually focus on the brute force aspect of these missions. Do you want to run a brute force check if this is a simulation? You never give up, do you? Do you? Okay, Mr. Stubborn. I guess it won't hurt to set up some solid defenses. Just in case. They are so chatty. Captain Novak. You're welcome, Mr. Riggs. They are so chatty. Alright. Well, there we go. We've got a couple of Carbonium things. I'm going to leave this going for a bit so we can build up. Um... Other thing I'm going to need pretty bad is an armory. Oh, but we need iron for that. All right. I guess I'll just extend out. Uh, here. There we go. Unfortunately, there's no real grid that I can build up to, which is a bit tragic. But at the very least, we can get a little bit of iron while we're here. I might want to also increase my solid material storage at some point, but... Be, oh, we want this. Now, I always try and go for maximum coverage. And this one doesn't look like it's going to be particularly kind to that. I guess we can do this, this, and this. Ah, right, there we go. This is going to take a little bit before I get the iron so I can specifically... Yeah. Before I can specifically get the good gun. I want to clear these guys out. I don't know how big of a deal they're going to be, but I don't want to deal with it all the same. There we go. Okay. And these guys are all... These guys are all shooty. I don't think I have much to worry about with that, though. Oh, and we have another Carbonium deposit down here. Good stuff. Yeah, I'm really... I don't know. I, I'm i ab absolutely the kind of person that prefers infinite uh, resource deposits in these games. Mainly just because, like, I don't like having to tear up my uh, my base ever. Uh, it's annoying to have to do so. Oh. Well, that would be a limitation, wouldn't it? I have, I do not have enough power to actually be able to power all of these drills that I've put down. Go figure. Look, I just see, I see the nodes and I'm thinking, oh, I can, I can just harvest all of them. I'm not thinking, yeah, I got to power them all. What's the difference between this and solar? Whoa. All right, that's not what I was expecting. I was not expecting a meteor, or a meteorite to just come crashing down, but... There we are. Oh, blessed silence. I can actually focus on what I'm doing. Okay. Ugh. I need that sun to come back, but it won't be back for a little while. Yeah, the solar panels are cheaper. That said, the more of these I get down, the better. And eventually we'll have more than enough and we won't have to worry about anything. I'm definitely Ashley, not going to get any... I strongly advise you to construct an armory. It will allow us to craft new weapons and upgrades, and also manufacture field repair kits, as well as other usable items. And it will produce more ammunition for your guns. Yes, that is an important building. Okay, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pile a bunch of power around here. I don't think this is gonna be the best laid out base that I've ever made in a video game, but that's fine. 
Yeah, the more of these that get down, the more power we have just in general, and then we can actually up our scale up our production. Now we're already up to plus three, which is gonna speed this along tremendously. There are a couple of events that will actively reduce the amount of wind power I get, but I can... It's better than the sun going down. I'm not actually... I'm, I'm sure somebody's going to do the math at some point and say that actually it's better to just have a bunch of solar panels and um, and power storage, maybe? Maybe? I, I don't know. Okay, so we still need to get two more. To at least match our current power demands. But... Every single one of these that I get set up is another what? One or two mines? So close. And that drastically increases our production. Okay, I'm gonna get a bit of a surplus. Because we're gonna need some guns. We've got an attack coming in a minute and a half. Which I'm not too worried about. Maybe I'll be more worried about it once we start getting into the planetary exploration side of things. Because I know you can warp to other biomes and like a bunch of other cool stuff. Which is something I haven't touched. It wasn't in the... Uh... There we go. It was not in the demo that I've played repeatedly. At the very least. Okay, so each of these requires 20. Ooh. That said... Once they're done and built, they're done and built, and I'm good to go. There go. I'm just going to leave a giant power block there. Uh, maybe extend the rest of this, I don't know. Navigation on this base is important, though I guess in retrospect I can build rift portals. They're pretty cheap, too. I should never have built my base so close to that section there. Uh, let's see. I'm going to give myself a little bit of room to maneuver. I know there's also, like, roads that I think you can build. But I'm not seeing him. Okay. I'm just gonna kind of wall off some of these sections. The Great Wall of Galatea. Oh yeah. I at least it's self-aware about what it's going to be. Uh, let's see. I'm detecting a large group of creatures heading towards our position. It looks From like which? our presence has been noticed. Which direction, Ashley, though? Whoop. We don't have a lot of defensive structures. Prepare to fight. I guess you were right about setting up more defenses. We'll have to handle this ourselves. Remember to use repair kits if necessary. There we go. Not too bad. Pair that, and let's get a gate down. I... Always... Forget Our to rotate. Construction finished. We can now use it to craft new items. It will also automatically manufacture ammunition for my weapons. Okay. Oh, there they are. So I guess the uh, I guess that first group was not actually the wave of enemies coming my direction. build some more. Those walls build quick too, so I should be able to just get them down unless they just got wrecked. I don't know. I don't care. I'm doing fine. I'm noticing the audio is freaking out a little bit. Just a bit. Maybe it was when it was saving or who knows what. Ashley, are you still skeptical about the local creature's level of aggression? I'm skeptical about the procedures for prepping this planet for colonization. Humanity lost its love for nature after the Yellowstone eruption. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't try to preserve this ecosystem. Earth is barely habitable at this point. We have to secure Galatea 37 for colonization and resource extraction as soon as possible. Excessive care about the local environment is unnecessary. That's not entirely true. Other rift-breaking missions have already secured a number of resource-rich planets for humanity. We're not on the brink of extinction. Our goals on this mission are clear, and our survival and security is the top priority. Damage to the ecosystem is inevitable. You wanted to come here yourself, and you knew what has to be done. Are you doubting the mission? I know what has to be done. That's not the point. Galatea has to be prepared for colonization. I don't doubt that. 
If I didn't come here myself, then someone else would have. I believe that we can do this in a better way. We have to defend ourselves and secure the necessary resources to set up the rift station. But we don't have to destroy all the wildlife we encounter. Humanity doesn't need another stripped down factory world. If we want to progress as a species, then we should study this planet and learn how to blend with the environment and prepare a safe home for humanity. I don't have enough AI cores to support any more defensive towers. You will need to construct additional AI hubs to expand our defenses. Remember to build more power plants before you do that. AI hubs consume a lot of energy. It looks like we have the base up and running. If you'd like to construct more advanced buildings, you'll have to upgrade the headquarters building. Unfortunately, this process also emits a lot of high-frequency energy waves. These creatures are clearly drawn to our energy emissions, so it will be like an alarm bell for them. We should strengthen our defenses before upgrading the HQ. Okay, so we've got power for days. Resources are pretty good. And maybe you guys aren't hearing it. I hope you guys aren't hearing it. But yeah, the audio is, is just freaking out just a little bit. And I wish it wasn't. Okay. But I, I think at the very least I want to armor... Armor? Uh, bulk up most of this base. So that I don't have to worry about too much. I'm going to get a rift portal here. Just so I can warp from one side of the base to the next. We're just going to have a giant network of them. Because this way, if, say, we're getting attacked somewhere, I can just warp to it. This might be a little out of the way. I, I don't know. Let's see. Okay, let's take a look at this. Because we've got a bunch of these kind of twisting passages, which works really well for me from a defensive perspective. You know, I, I could potentially take a lot of these locations um, and use them... Let's see. I can use them as kind of natural breakpoints, because the enemies will not go through. Uh, like, they will not go over rocks, to my knowledge. There are some artillery dudes that it that are something I'm gonna have to contend with. Okay, sell that. Okay, put that there. I'm just gonna have a second section of walls there. Anytime I've got a gate, I wanna do that. Um, I'm just going to slap it in the center. I wonder if I'm not actually going to get attacked again for a little while. No, you know what? I probably will. Okay, carbonium storage is already full. Okay. I don't like this. There we go. Just immediately shred all of them. Right, there we go. My logic is close the base off. Worst comes to worst, some of these areas get uh, smacked around a little bit during an invasion. But I'm, I'm not actually sure how this game handles scaling to some degree. And so I might be kind of lucky with the campaign mode that I don't have to immediately rush. Survival mode is a lot faster and a lot more aggressive, for better and worse. I say is these guys start coming after me. I don't necessarily hate those guys, but uh, yeah, they're not my favorite. Okay, so the reason why this is kind of important is twofold. We have a lot of empty space here, which is incredibly useful for power storage and power generation. It's also kind of tight, which means we're probably going to want a lot of... Uh, let's see. We're going to want a lot of warp points just so I can get around without having to walk here. Because otherwise I'm going to run into some issues once the attacks start really flowing. Okay. 
And yeah. These are cheap enough. So speaking of kind of useful things. Okay, I'm just gonna put that there. That gets me a bunch of solid material storage that we can start gathering. Uh, let's see. I. Mm, Okay, is that connected? Yes, it is. Cool. We're going to need a lot of AI cores. We're going to need a lot of things. I think I'm going to upgrade the HQ at this point, uh, if I had enough juice to do so. Okay, well, I will consider upgrading it as soon as I can. Okay. We also want some redundant power lines, just because... Game likes to have enemies that hit your power lines and then just kind of leaves you high and dry. And that's not the most fun thing in in existence. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, so we want to just kind of slobber our way through a lot of the natives, which is really dark now that I'm thinking about it. Horrible person. Oh, probably from killing the just basic neutral mobs, is my guess. Whole bunch of carbonium here. Hell yeah. You suckers hurt. It's fair and my fault. A bit. But look at all this. There we go. Because, yeah, to some degree, I could actually go out of my way to clear much of this map while it's quote-unquote so easy. I'm seeing a lot of easy spots for me to take. This one especially. That said, I think we're pretty much full up. I just had to wait for a bit. Okay, so let's upgrade. Yes. Headquarters well. upgrade in progress. This will attract a lot of attention. We should reinforce our defenses as much as we can. Things are going to get very hot very soon. Okay. I'm not fully certain where they're going to hit. Suffice to say, they're probably going to hit this side. Okay, put those there. And then something here is low on power. Oh. I am glad we are back on the same page about properly securing our base. We can't save this world if we let it kill us. Hey, Mr. Grumpy? Why do you insist on calling me names? <laughs> I hope you're not offended. Are you? No. That would be inefficient. Come on, Riggs. Let's not be so serious. I had to give you a better name than what they called you. Rift Jump and Exploration Mega Suit Mark IV Griffin Variant. What is wrong with that name? It's inefficient. Well, I appreciate the characters. I kind of miss, miss the almost heinously evil. Um. Oh, here's a question. Can I get those to hook up? I can. Interesting. I get the feeling this is probably not going to be worth it, uh, at least in the immediacy, but yeah, it does connect. For the moment, I'm just going to keep trying to connect to these locations. Let's see. Yeah, boy, if I if I could take this. I can sense the ground shaking. I estimate a few thousand creatures running at our base. They are very close. Prepare yourself, Ashley. We've made all the preparations that we could. Let's go out and meet them. Lies. I can always make more preparations. Okay. I'm probably going to want to put some gates down 
but later. There we go. I'm just gonna sit here. They have such a bad bottleneck in the spot. I love it. Okay, and I can just repair a lot of these. I guess we'll get a second gun. They make weird noises. Threat neutralized. I didn't quite realize how effective the repair the tool attack. on this is. Let's check what's new after the HQ upgrade. We should start downloading new blueprints so we can construct more advanced buildings and items. Build a communications hub as soon as possible. Okay, let's remember to build some additional power plants for it. It consumes a lot of energy. Now look at this. This is so much better of a defensive location than half of my, like, little mid-tier defenses. Like, anything coming at this is going to have just a bad day. Okay, let's sell those. We don't need them. Okay, carbonium is full, but that's fine. Because so I can just get tons of material storage here. And this is all just dead end, yeah? Perfect. The wind is picking up speed. Loose objects are starting to fly. Uh, well that sounds kind of annoying, actually. Okay, let's just extend this upwards. Might as well take every single one of these locations. Wind turbine efficiency is at maximum. Okay, I might have to worry about property damage, though. That's the one worry. Okay, let's get those. Really crank up our wind for some reason. But what we really want is to come here and I spend all of my carbonium on wind. Uh, which I didn't need to do. You know what? It's fine. I'm taking it slow. I'm having a good time. That's what matters, yeah? Pair of those. Okay, so I can go back to this section. Yeah, we can sell these. I'll probably keep the walls just because they're not that big of a deal. But not having to man defenses in these locations sounds like a good idea. Or just a good deal. More guns for me. Okay. I want to get the comms hub. Let's actually work back to the base, though. I think I'm going to try and keep most of my important stuff centered around here. Communications hub construction in progress. We wow, that's going to take a while. All the technology blueprints that we need through this building's quantum entanglement template matrix. It's a pity that we can't upload anything back to Earth. There's so much data to be gathered here. I can't wait to start collecting research specimens. We will be able to share all of our research data as soon as the rift station is operational and the rift back to Earth has been opened. Let's focus on that first. Okay. Well, well we've got that set up. Let's take a look around. A lot of iron ore. So it's not exactly the most defensible location. Like one of my goals here is to be at least somewhat well protected. I don't like having uh, just open areas all the time. I think that's going to mess me up a little bit. Okay. Anything here? Yes. Hello! There we go. And whenever that cotton stuff is done, done, now we can start really motoring. Because, oh yeah, look at all this iron out here. Hello. Let's probably see if I really should probably stop hitting those just neutral mobs. I feel kind of bad about that. Oh well. Okay, geothermal vents. Yeah, we're gonna want to grab those for infinite. Ow! 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 We're gonna want to grab those for somewhat infinite power generation. I wonder if we can also like. Uh, I know they output mud. I'm curious if I can output uh, take the output mud. There's an invisible group of enemies. Like, hunter killer critters. Huh. 
That's a new one. Yeah, those were, those were most certainly weren't in the demo. Construction finished. We can now use it to download new technologies. Oh, is some of these starting to empty out? Yep. Okay, so now that we've got the comms hub, we can start doing whatever. So we can get another comms hub, which I think is going to be the first thing I want to go for. It increases my resource, resource research speed by a lot. And honestly, I think I might just want to go down that list really hard. Until something else pops in. You know, I also just realized I have not properly defended the north. Yep, north is completely unprotected, sort of. Awkward. Okay. I guess I'm gonna need a gate in this. I guess I'll just slap it there. There we go. Are there any other main means of entering my base at the moment? Hard to tell looking at this, but I think I'm good. Okay, so what else do we want to invest in? Because I like having an egregious amount of storage. Power storage would, I think, be... Now that the basic base setup is complete, we should start working on our primary objective, constructing an interplanetary rift station. It is going to take a long time to build, so we should start working on it as soon as possible. That's true. It's a massive building with multiple components and pipeline connections for plasma fuel and coolant. It's going to be the central structure in our base, with multiple support buildings, so we should plan a lot of free space around it. Let's start by placing the foundation. Okay, how big is this sucker? Freaking huge. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of immediate space here. Unless I wanted to go out this this direction. <sighs> Shit, that's big. I don't know. Cuz yeah, my current base is way it's way too cramped for that. What I could do is potentially expand to take this entire field. It's not the worst idea in the world. Um, what are we doing on research time? Decent. What are we doing on map? Let's go out here. I'll think about this. Because... I don't need to do it now. Oh, more invisible dudes. Okay, looks like I can just circle strafe around most of these enemies without too much worry. Big rockin'. I don't know. Yeah, I I think I'm gonna just go out there. Cause what else am I? What? Where else am I even gonna build this? Uh, yeah, over here. And we've got mud to the south. Which I know is a core component of this Construction thing. of the Rift Station's foundation is in progress. Congratulations, Ashley. This milestone marks the beginning of the next chapter of our mission on this planet. You sometimes sound a bit like Colonel Nordstrom. Do you know that? I received additional instructions on how to motivate you and keep your spirit high during this mission. They were indeed written by Colonel Nordstrom and revised by Admiral Von Blofeld. Would you like me to read what I was instructed to tell you for this occasion? Oh, please do, Mr. Riggs. This is exactly what I wanted to hear after traveling halfway through the galaxy. Captain Novak, you were selected for the rift jump to Galatea 37 as an exceptional individual. You are amongst the elite of the elite of Earth's expeditionary forces. During your services with the Extraterrestrial Science Corps, you have time and again shown courage, bravery, and an unflinching willingness to sacrifice yourself to complete your objectives. You are destined. Okay, that's a nice speech. It sounds very uplifting. But they didn't read my bio very well. What do you mean? The sacrifice part. Do you mean the Orion mission? You were working without me back then. Yes, that and a few other things. Do you want me to read further motivational pieces? 
that's enough of Colonel Nordstrom. Let's skip the military pathos and stick to your original programming. We've got a planet to explore. Roger that, Ashley. I am archiving all of the motivational speeches. Okay, I want to just kind of hook this all up. I realize that I'm effectively just bloating much of my base with just empty locations and walls, but at the same time, it gives me a lot of space to potentially kind of just work with. Because, yeah, we've got this thing, which just seems kind of great. I don't know. If I ever have to defend that corner, it's going to be kind of nice. A lot of these spaces are actually very, um, very compact. And I've got a lot of nice anchor points that I can use. Because the biggest issue is getting attacked on a corner. It's hard to focus most of my guns on a corner. Well, I don't know. It's easier to pack a bunch of guns on a corner. But the enemies don't bottleneck as well. This is a maybe a little bit messy. Well, did this... This way, I don't think anything's going to be scooting in. Okay, how are we doing on research? Did we finish? Perfect. So... Ah, gotta have headquarters level 3 before I can get more comms hubs. Understandable. So we've got liquid storage, we've got a detector and cobalt, if I want to go that direction. Orbital scanner, detect areas of interest on the entire planet. Uh, yeah, let's add that to research. We want the ammo storage. We want the radar. I mean, we want a lot of these. This is going to take a while, unfortunately. And we want the geothermal powder plant, which probably means I need to look into liquid storage. There's also alien research, but I haven't figured out how to do that yet. There's reflective armor, better weapons, spear hammer, and power fist, which sound kind of interesting. But we're going to want those. And this is going to take a long time. So, I think instead, well, do we actually consider this to be a good stopping point, at least for now? I think so. There's a lot to, there's a lot to do. And it's going to take a long time before we get to do it. The construction of the Rift Station Foundation has been completed. We need to construct all of the Rift Station components before we can start powering up the portal. The Rift Station has three main components that require a lot of rare resources to be built. The fusion field accelerator requires enriched uranium. The hyperparticle condenser requires palladium. And the quantum gate stabilizer, which requires titanium. We haven't found any traces of these elements near our base. These resources might not be present anywhere near our location. We should construct an orbital scanner to start scouting for interesting locations around the entire planet. It will allow us to establish precise coordinates for long-range rift jumps around the planet. Yeah, so I can you actually warp the around the planet. It's something I haven't done yet. Orbital scanner. We have to download the orbital scanning technology through the communications hub. Alright. Well, we got that done. I think I'm going to stand by what I was saying, though. Of I think this is a good stopping point, at least for the first episode of this. we got a long ways to go and a lot of dialogue to listen to, which I was not necessarily expecting. But at the same time, it's okay. Oh, I'm going to have to do a lot of work, though. We're going to need to get out, get out to this. So I might want to actually... Yeah, we should get out here. We should probably actually get rid of these bad boys. Oh, yeah. Look at all that carbonium. I wonder if there's other ways to get this stuff. There we go. On the plus side, the neutral mods do clear out pretty quick, so I don't have to worry too much about being a really bad person. But I do have to worry about being a really bad person. Ooh. Okay, let's repair those. And... I don't know. Anything else? Nope. Alright. Well, with that... Oh, I'm going to need some power. That's immediately a problem. That I didn't think about. Oh, it's fine. Uh, let's see. I guess I can get that down at the very least. There's a good spot for it. Here. Kind of. Ashley, now that the armory is operational, we can craft some new weapons. That's a good idea. The enemy attacks are getting constantly stronger. We need better guns. 
Wind is picking up again. Power generation is back to normal. Oh, that's why I was having power problems. Wind issues. And what is it telling me about here? I don't know why this is. Oh. Select the armory. It wants me to make things. The thing is, like, I have nothing to make at the moment. I mean, I guess I can make a shotgun, but I don't like those. Sword, dash, acid. Wait, what? Wait. Is that movement skill that I picked up in survival mode? Huh. I had done a, a one-off survival mode video. Uh, I don't think it's going to hit YouTube just because it wasn't actually that interesting. The, uh, the campaign mode is a lot more fleshed out. Survival mode is great, too, if you're willing to play for a couple hours. And I was just like, eh, I'm going to play for an hour. And let's have that be it. And the answer was, that was not enough. Okay, well, anyway, Riftbreaker is available now on Steam. And if you are a Games Pass uh, subscriber, you actually also have access to this. So if you want to play it, uh, you can get it through there. I don't know about consoles, unfortunately. I guess I could check that real quick. Okay, so the answer is it's on Xbox One, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, PlayStation 4, and then Windows. I think it might even be on the Epic Game Store as well. It's pretty much on every platform. There are no exclusives. It's just dive in, have fun, and that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. Uh, let's see, so I'm going to save. And with all of that said, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like helps more than you know. And if you want to see more, stick around because I've been waiting for this game for a long time. And I just desperately want to do a series on it. I, saying it that way actually makes it sound kind of sad, but look. I just, I love base defense games. I love tower defense games, and I love base defense games. And the intersection of those two genres lately has been absolutely lovely. And I can't wait to play more. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. I'm going to extend this here and see if I can... I'll probably sell all this. Aha! The problem is I'm just going to keep playing. So it's effectively the same episode, but it's not. It's not really. Why?